Welcome to the Freedom Culture. The BRICS nations are currently working on a new reserve currency that is backed by gold. Meanwhile, the US dollar is currently backed by nothing. A rising number of countries are currently joining the Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa movement, the BRICS. They're coming together to form an economic alliance to counteract the almighty dollar. See, every time that the US Federal Reserve raises interest rates, it hurts other economies. And if other countries do anything that the US government doesn't agree with, they get sanctioned, economically punished. Sort of like when the US banned Russia from the SWIFT payment system, which was, during the time, the largest tool to transfer money. And this was like a death blow to the Russian economy. So in response to these economic attacks, all of these countries are looking to get in together to ditch the dollar. The BRICS group is set to introduce a new currency backed by gold in contrast to the credit-backed US dollar with countries lining up to join the growing initiative. The BRICS countries are planning to introduce a new trading currency which will be backed by gold. More and more countries recently expressed desire to join BRICS. In general of South Africa, Pali Lahola says the gold-backed currency will facilitate the advancement of developing countries. South Africa had a much stronger currency when the gold standard was still in force. By growing the, the gold standard by many countries, uh, that many African countries, of course, have. This will be of great benefit uh, to strengthening uh, the, 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 the currency, uh, the single currency that is backed by gold. The BRICS currency could be backed by a combination of resources and commodities like gold. They just gotta agree on the terms and conditions, which is what these meetings are for. Now, the US dollar, on the other hand, is backed by nothing. The US dollar is known by the whole world to be backed by nothing. We all thought that it was something, but it turns out that the almighty dollar is backed by nothing. The US dollar is currently backed by nothing but the ability to print money, which is inflated air, which will cause a recession, devaluation, and eventually economy collapse. The US dollar has been backed by nothing since it was removed over the gold standard by President Nixon. Right now, money is as good as we trust the government. Now question, how good do you trust someone that's $32 trillion in debt? Nothing backs the dollar. The U.S. ain't got no natural resource that backs that dollar, my brother. Now, if you look at other countries, they have plenty of gold, diamonds. They're supposed to have gold. They're or, supposed to have gold. Who? I thought we were supposed to have gold. He said who? The U.S. ain't got nothing. <laughs> so we, you just say we just we got a piece got of paper. We say it's worth something. So that paper is no, really worth it, nothing. No, it's, it's worth something because we say it's worth something. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets, except in amounts and conditions determined to be in the interest of monetary stability and in the best interest of the United States injecting into it sort of out of nothing uh, out of nothing they're, they're the, the central bank of the united <laughs> uh, states no, oh my God. like there is a certain part of this that all feels like a mirage to some extent do you know what i mean it, it all yeah, seems sort yeah. of fake well it, it is it's it's a fiduciary system it's all right. faith-based right? <laughs> oh my lord yes you got to have confidence in that currency in that dollar because there's nothing back and there's no gold back in so it's, it's in some ways it's a mass delusion well